My name is Chris Aho, and this is my story. When I was really young, I already had a keen interest in rugby, but it wasn't until the 1995 Rugby World Cup where I watched John Alomo make history. He shocked the world with his ability to run as fast as a back, but had the power of a forward. That World Cup changed my life, and rugby became my life. What I loved about rugby is that it didn't matter what size you were or where you came from. It was a sport for everyone. It's a game that allows you to express yourself. It's a game that unites nations, communities and families. If you wanted to be the best, you had to work hard, be focused, make sacrifices. And I knew that to achieve my goals, I needed to do these things. When I was 15, I made my first representative team play for Auckland as a junior. In New Zealand, every kid's dream was to become an All Black, and for me, this was the start of that journey. Every year after that, I represented Auckland, and eventually I was selected to represent New Zealand Senior School's rugby team, which toured the UK and France. When I was 19, I was selected to represent New Zealand under 19s at the Junior Rugby World Cup in Venice, Italy, which we won. At this point, it was the highlight of my career, winning the World Cup, playing aside some of the best players who went on to become All Blacks. But after this, everything changed. I became unfocused, thinking I was the man. My priorities changed. I put my faith in my family aside, and in 2004, I missed out on my chance to make them as an under-21s rugby team, which was just one step away from a big break. When I was 21, I decided to move to Australia. I left New Zealand with no money, leaving behind everything, my family, my dreams of becoming an all-black. It was hard. I struggled being away from my family, and I felt lost and questioned everything that I did. A few years later, things started to look up. I got back into church and became a youth leader. Many of my young guys in my group were athletes, and I started to notice the same struggles that they were going through that I did. This was the turning point. God had put a new passion in my heart. So I had to decide whether to continue chasing my dream or help others achieve theirs. I chose. I had a new dream to help raise a new breed of athletes that will not just win the games on the field, but also the ones off field. The game of life. The one we can't afford to lose. Years later, I moved to Melbourne. I got an opportunity to work for the Melbourne Rebels as a rugby development officer, which opened up all new doors. Three years ago, I got together with two friends to start Iron Armour Academy, which is a non-for-profit Christian sports organisation. The vision and purpose is to help raise a new breed of athletes through fitness and off-the-field mentoring, helping our athletes to be the best that they can be on and off the field, finding their purpose and reaching their communities for Jesus Christ. To this day, I am a CEO and co-founder of I Number Academy. I'm coaching and I'm mentoring full-time, doing what I love. Using what I've gained from my experiences both on and off the field and in life to help guide and mentor the next generation of athletes. Ayanama has now 200 athletes from the ages of 6 to 20. And not only have we seen success on the field, for our program, but also off the field, in their own personal lives. But I know that this is only the beginning. Iron sharpens iron.